Okay, I start recording. I start recording. Uh, let me just summarize what I mentioned earlier. First, you must ignore the A. You must ignore the A. And then you draw the graph without the modulus. Find the three points. Earlier on, I used the table method. Sometimes it's confusing. So there's another way you can just sub in x equals to 0, find the first point. y equals to 0, find the second point. x equals to any value. This is a checking point. Check whether the first two is correct or not. How do you know? If these three form a straight line, you are correct. If these three form a S curve, that means wrong already. With these three, the next one you want to do is end point. End point, in this case there is no end point because there is no domain given. So there is no x given, therefore no y. There is no end point. So what's the next step? I want to do step number one. Sketch the graph without the modulus. And then I want to do number three. I want to flip the graph. Now let's do the actual thing now. Oh, okay. As, as usual, I, I, li I like the rough one first. Huh? Because rough one, I can anyhow draw. Uh, this is 0, 1. This is negative half 0. This is 1, negative 1. Ah, uh, half 0. Eh? Okay. 0, 1, half 0, 1, negative 1. Right. Okay, now. Uh, when I say rough means I, I just randomly draw, I don't even label, uh, it looks like that. Now, the next part, the next part, uh, modulus means it will, which part will go up? Here, here will go up. So here will go up. So there's, there's no more this, and then this will go up. Now, the third step, the third step, it says, now I apply the A. Uh, of course, I want to write the M, I want to write the range, but can I write the range for this? There's no M point, there's no domain, there's no range. So I go on to the next one, apply A. Apply A, now I got minus 3. Minus 3 means what? The whole graph go down. The whole graph go down. Do I need to flip again? No need. I flip already. So the final graph is like that. Uh, the first graph, if you don't erase off, the first graph you must dot it. But my suggestion is just erase off because it's not required. Uh, it's not required. But if you choose to draw two graphs, then you label correctly. This is the one without the A. This is the one with the A. Mm. So. Then you want to know what is wrong. Okay, you want to know which part is wrong. So now I draw the actual one. Actually, Nixon is correct. Huh? If you draw the original, then the minus 3, 1, you can write the coordinates very easily. I show you how. Huh? First, I draw this line. I draw this line, but in pencil. In pencil. Later, I erase. I erase. I, I better draw in pencil, so it's easy for me. Uh, I hope it can be seen easily on the screen. Now, I draw a line like that. Later, the domain, right? Right, the domain. Okay, so first I have this. This is the one before I apply the A. What is this one? Ah? Anyone can help me? What is oh, 1? Because Y in the set, right? So this value is 1. This value is 1. What about this point? Ah? Half. Okay. Now I apply the minus 3, which means this point I must minus 3. This point, I must minus 3. So, what you do is, you draw another one. <coughs> Practice your parallel lines. What is this value here? So, I use my pen to darken. So, this is negative 2. What about this point? If you are not so sure, what you can do is, this point you can label half zero. If you move down, ask yourself x change or y change. 
So you move down or Y change. Change by how many? Move down by 3. So change by minus 3. Uh, a is not the y that said, but A is how many times you move up or down the y axis. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But make sure you, you darken the line or you erase this line because this is your rough working. Okay? Or you dotted this line. You dotted this line. The, the marking, the marks will be given for the solid line. Uh, yeah. Where are the, where are the marks given? The shape, the coordinates, the two coordinates, uh, yeah, full marks. Okay? Uh, label the graph. Can I hashtag here? Answer is no. Why, ah? Darren? Why I cannot hashtag here? Very good. Write down the domain for which y is less than or equal to 3. Okay, I zoom into this statement first, ah. What do you expect the answer to be? You expect the answer to be something like x bigger than star, smaller than apple. You expect the answer to be something like that. Domain means what is the x value so that y is lesser than when when y is lesser than three. Now go back to this thing here. Where is three? Top ah. It's at the top, isn't it? How do I find the x value? This is y equals to negative 2. If I go all the way up, this is 1. I go all the way up, this is 3. Can follow? So which means they are asking you, so this pink thing uh, is asking you, if I were to have a graph and I have a line. Okay, I draw first, I explain. This is y equals to 3. Do they want more or less? Read the question. Y is more or less? Less. Less means I want below, right? Below. Now, if I were to look at these two points, I draw a dot line, this number. I draw a dot line, this number. Which means my final answer is x. This number and this number. Do I make sense? Again, uh, I repeat. I want y is equal to 3. So I draw a line. It cuts the graph at two points. 1, 1. They want to find an x value. So it's like I drop down like an image. I drop down, I find out these two values and then I put it here. How do I find <coughs> these two values? Oh, why I draw the graph all the way up? Because my 1 is too high. If I want y equals to 3, it must be higher than 1. It's my mistake. If your 1 is not so high, then you don't have to draw all the way up. Look at the skill. Look at your skill. Your, your 1 is here. Your 3 will be 1, 2, three, here. So your graph must be like that, then like that, then like that. Okay? So why you go, who do not understand why is it y equals to 3? Can you understand this one? No, because of the question. It says y is lesser or equal to 3 because of this question. So, Darren got the most important question. Which one do I sub? Ah? Which one do I sub? Do I sub into the modulus one? No. I have two points. How many equations do I need? Two. I need two equations. Where are the two equations? Ah? One is the original one, one is the negative one. Do you follow? Do you follow? Okay, so I, I start, I start. So I write down, I write down, y is equal to modulus negative 2x plus 1 minus 3. Now let's practice. If I have this modulus equation, can I split into two equations here? Try. Everyone try. Write down the two equations. Stop what you are doing. Write down y equals to modulus negative 2x plus 1 modulus minus 3. 
I want you now to write down two equations out of this. Start. Questa will tell us the first one. Eileen will tell us the second one. Start. Write down. They say, I write, we compare. Questa, when you're ready. Wait, wait. In case you don't know what I want, I want you to write this equation, break into two equations. One is the positive one, one is the negative one. Uh, yes, with the negative three, of course. With the negative three. Yeah, yeah, yeah because this equation, ma, this equation, so split into two. So, Questa, tell us the first one. Don't need to solve. Questa, I'm not asking you to solve the equation. Just tell me what is the equation. Y equals to... Y equals to negative 2x plus 1 minus 3. Y equals to negative 2x minus 2. Very good. Uh, Eileen? Y equals to... You can tell me the slow one. You can tell me the original, what you write. Then simplify. Then no need to write, tell me the simplified one. Y equals to 2x. That means you are telling me there's a negative there. There's a negative bracket, is it? So you are telling me there's negative bracket, then itself, then minus 3. So when you expand, it will be 2x minus 1 minus 3 minus 4. Do you get that? So I have these two already. What must I sub so that I can find these two x value? Y equals to 3. You sub y equals to 3 into this, you got one value. You sub y equals to 3 into this, you get another value. You see which x value is smaller, you put left side. Which one bigger, you put right side. Hashtag. Fine? 